Hi, I'm Randy Vance with Boating Magazine. I'm with Miguel Guerrero, the CEO of Blue Gas Marine. We are on an extremely unusual Intrepid 327. It's powered by dual Mercury 300 horsepower Verado outboards. Here's what makes it unusual. It runs on either natural gas or gasoline. It carries both fuels on board and you can switch back and forth seamlessly. Miguel, you're gonna have to tell me how this technology works. That's correct, this is uh, unique. It's uh, the first of its kind in the world. We have developed a natural gas electronic fuel injection system that is an add-on to any outboard engine. Miguel is going to explain exactly how this technology works, but first, I wanna show you how it works. So watch as we put the boat through its performance paces now. The Blue Gas compressed natural gas system on our Intrepid 327 operated seamlessly with the supercharged Verado 300 horsepower outboards. The system can be configured to transfer from gasoline to CNG automatically at a predetermined RPM. You'd probably choose that power setting which gives you the greatest efficiency. Or it can be turned on and off manually. Either way, it is done so smoothly it's impossible to tell when it happens. In our trials, speeds at various operating ranges were comparable. Handling characteristics were identical throughout the power curve. However, acceleration times were 3 seconds to plane and 2 seconds to 30 miles per hour slower on our Gen 1 blue gas system. Gen 2 mapping is already completed for these supercharged outboards and is expected to equalize acceleration specifications, an effect Boating Magazine will verify soon. Perhaps most exciting in this test was the dramatic reduction in fuel costs. On average, our test boat went 23% further on the equivalent amount of CNG over gas at cruising speeds. Put another way, if you wanted to move your boat 100 miles at the cruise speed of 35 miles per hour, it would take 70 gallons of gasoline or $320 worth at $450 a gallon. The comparable energy cost of far cheaper and far more abundant CNG is only $72. With equivalent loads and identical props, our tests indicated that the net savings when operating on CNG for 100 miles is $248. Well, Miguel, we proved that it's fuel efficient, powerful, and it saves money. What are some of the other benefits of this? Well, one that I'm very excited about is the fact that it is redundant. There are two redundant independent systems. We do not share any parts with a gasoline engine. Therefore, if one of the fuel injection systems malfunctions, either gasoline or natural gas, you can come home on the other. Also, there's the other green benefits. You can already notice that there is no smoke and there's no exhaust odor of any kind, making it very enjoyable to be on the water. So the natural gas is completely particulate emission free? That is correct, zero particulate matter emissions, and that's why you can enjoy it on the water, but also your engines enjoy it very much. No carbon deposits, making your engines last a whole lot longer. So what kind of experience are you having as far as engine longevity goes? Well, we have uh, actually started running our system on Yamaha engines three years ago, and now we have engines with thousands of hours. And this past year, we just extended our system to the Mercury line of Verado engines, and they are running just as good as uh, the Yamahas now. Now, you had some special challenges on the Verados because they use a supercharger. How did you approach that? For our system, we actually make our own acceleration maps under natural gas. Because the, the Verado is supercharged, we had to create different acceleration maps that behave differently than a naturally aspirated engine like your Yamaha, Suzuki's, and Evan Reed engines. So now if we're just flying along at 40 miles an hour on natural gas, we can just push a button and end up being on gasoline? That's correct. You can switch at any speed because we are actually switching one cylinder at a time in the engines, making it for a very smooth transition between two fuels who are uh, significantly different. Now on the Verado engines, is the fuel going directly into the cylinders? It goes directly into the cylinders, bypassing all uh, gasoline components. So if a guy wants to install this on his boat, what exactly is involved? Well, we outfit each engine with our natural gas electronic fuel injection system. That means a computer, injectors, fuel lines. We then also add helm controls. We also have a program where as you accelerate, it switches by itself. You can turn that off if you like. We also add the natural gas tanks so you can store the fuel on board. 
talk to me about safety in a comparison to gasoline and natural gas. Gasoline fumes are heavier than air, so you always have to worry whether uh, they're going to accumulate in your bilge or not. Natural gas being lighter than air, in the unlikely event of, of a leak, it quickly dissipates towards the sky and it does not pull around in the bilge or any other place. So it's safer, more fuel efficient, powerful, cheaper, it's green. What am I missing? Well, you can add it to your boat by contacting us or one of our authorized dealers. You can fill up at thousands of stations already. We're installing more and more every day on the water. And if you have natural gas at home, you can actually install it there. We have the equipment to help you do that. So I can fill up in my driveway, now that's cool. I'm Randy Vance with Boating Magazine. This is a Blue Gas Marine powered Intrepid 327 with Verado 300 horsepower outboards.